<laughs> Over there, hiding behind a bush. <laughs> the tiger, kids, is like nature's own pantry. And what is the richest, most filling time to be in the forest? What time? Lunch time? No. <laughs> the most generous time is the autumn season. Autumn in Taiga. I hate autumn. Leo, move over. Snake! There's a snake! Snake? Snake! Ah! There's a snake! Where? Over there, under that tree! Right! So huge and angry! It almost bit off my tail. Tig, are you sure you saw it? Of course I'm sure. I almost lost my tail. <laughs> you chickens. You got scared of an empty snakeskin. Come over here. Do not be afraid. Mappa, so the snake is now crawling around completely naked? Like a plain earthworm? But why? No, kids, no. The snake sheds its old skin and crawls out of it, wearing a new one. Huh. That's a neat trick. I wish I could do that. Whenever your coat gets dirty, all you gotta do is take it off and carry on. <laughs> Mappa Pandiga, how did the snake learn to shed its old skin? Mmm, that's a very interesting story. <clears throat> Have a seat and listen. Once upon a time, there lived a great snake, the king of all snakes. But he grew very old and couldn't see well or even crawl anymore. So the great snake ordered his subjects to find a cure for old age. The snakes shot off in all directions. They searched every deep crevice and every underground cave, but found nothing. The last one to come back was the whip snake, carrying a secret root. The great snake ate the root and crawled out of his old skin. Once again, he was young, strong, and healthy. The great snake was very happy. After that, he made it so that a shiny trail is left wherever the whip snake crawled. Mappa Pandiga, what was the name of that magical root? Oh, that root was ginseng. Ha <laughs> ha! The sun! Finally! <laughs> Mappa Pandiga, let's go to... Let's uh, eat some grapes. Oh, oh, I'm a little under the weather. Oh, not my back hurts. Mappa Pandiga, what's wrong with you? <gasps> Poor Mappa Pandiga. He looks like he came down with something. We have to help him. Totally. But how? I know how. We are going to find that magical root. Remember? It can cure everything. Right, Leo. Let's go find that... Uh, Singji. Uh, but where do we find it? Oh, is this it? No, Teague. This is a Manchurian walnut. Haven't you listened to anything Mappa told us? We have been looking for this root for an hour. Maybe the thing doesn't exist. I think I found it. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, wow. It's like in a fairy tale. These marks are left by the whip snake. We could track him down. Right, and then ask him to help find the magical root. To cure our mappa. This 
must be the Whip Snake's lair. Uh, I don't think that Whip Snake is home right now. So let's just get out of here. No, we came here to get ginseng for our mappa, and we need to find it. Leo, what if there's no ginseng here either? Don't say that. Of course there is, and we'll find it. Well then, I'm just gonna wait for you guys here. I don't like swamps. I mean, I'm allergic. Huh. a leech here. Which one of you is the most delicious? No, no! We don't taste good at all! Yeah, I'm bitter and sour. Silly kids. Why would you march into the swamp? We're really <sighs> sorry. We just needed the magical root. It's for a good cause. To help someone. <coughs> Our Mappa Pandiga, he got really sick. You know Mappa Pandiga? Right, I remember him as he was still a bear cub. Well, hop on. I'll give you a ride. Say hello from me to Mappa. We sure will, Mr. Whipsnake. Thank you, Mr. Wise Whipsnake, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Snake. See you later. See you. <sighs> Why do we even have to climb this mountain when we could be at home right now playing games? And look. Look at the sky. I think it's gonna rain. I really hate autumn. Okay, we've arrived. 
Look at how majestic oh, our so tiger awesome. is in autumn. Woohoo! The view is beautiful! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> you know what I always say, right? Autumn is my favorite time of the year. <laughs> tiger can not only give you food, but also medicine. The most precious thing. Tig! Are you still sleeping? Come out here! Boom! Who's oh, sleeping? I've been up for a while. Well, are you ready for the competition? For the competition? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm ready, uh, I think. In that case, <laughs> I'll race in there! Hey, wait! <sighs> That's not fair! You have to say, on your mark, and ready! Set, go! <laughs> <laughs> Because, uh, you've got longer legs. Oh, come on, Tig. <laughs> legs have nothing to do with it. You just have to train more often. I have been training. Uh, like last week. Uh, Quiet, you two. Enough, kids. You shouldn't argue unless you want the same thing to happen to you as what happened to the kingfisher and the owl. What, what happened, happened to them? them? Once upon a time, when the great cedar was just a teeny tiny little seed, there were two birds living in the forest, two good friends, the white-throated kingfisher and the owl. The two were inseparable, doing everything together and always helping each other out. But then one day, the kingfisher saw his reflection and became arrogant. He started to boast, just look at my wonderful feathers. I'm so handsome and colorful, and you are nothing but gray. That hurt the owl's feelings, so he flew away into the wild woods. What? Into the wild woods? As in, as in, the wild woods are not for play? It's better if you stay away? Exactly, that's the one. Left without his friend, the kingfisher grew sad. And so, he decided to find the owl and apologize for the things he said. The kingfisher flew to the grizzled waterfall and asked him earnestly, please, Help me. Show me how to find my friend. The waterfall agreed to help the kingfisher, but only in exchange for his bright and colorful plumage. The kingfisher broke into tears. This is the most valuable thing I have. Nevertheless, he gave away his brightly colored feathers and got his friend back. And suddenly, he realized that he got it wrong. The most valuable thing was actually... Leo! Tig! I've been looking for you! Hurry up! The competition's about to start! Everybody's waiting for you! Oh, Mappa Pandiga, how are you? The competition? Whoa, that's right! Tig! We completely forgot about uh -huh. it! Let's go! <laughs> Let the competition begin right now! Yeah! Competitors will run along the forest trail around the giant hill and come back to this spot. Our racers are Tig, Cuba, Mila, and our three-time favorite winner, Leo! Yeah! Yeah! Is everyone ready? On your mark? And get set!
That's so great. <laughs> Thanks for the crown. <laughs> but that's not fair. Tig, tell them. You're the best. Woohoo! <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Upset, Leo. If it weren't for your shortcut, I would have won. Or you wouldn't have won. Ah, uh, calm down. It's just a race. Not fair. You don't get it. You've won many times, and I never win. So what if I win this time? Oh, Leo, what was that? Help! Somebody help me! I think it's coming from there. From the wild woods! Help me! Somebody save me! Help me! Please! I'm scared! Please! You gotta help me! Hold on! Help me, please. We're coming! Help! Please help me! Please! Please! I'll get him! Please! Hey, hurry up! Please! Leo! Please! I can't go any further! I need to take a break! No time for a break! Come on, champion! Let's go! But I'm not a champion! You're the Dang. winner! Now is not the time. We need to save that poor bunny! I can't, Leo! Fine. I'll run after him, and you go get his help! Find him no matter what. Why am I wearing this thing? It's wrong. Leo was the real winner. I lied to you. Oh, wow. Look, it's just like in the story. Come on, guys, this way. Follow me. <laughs> Don't be scared. My friend Tig, he's going to come and bring help. We'll get out of here. Wow! Look! A rainbow! A rainbow? Unbelievable! Leo! Such a beautiful rainbow! Leo! Tig, so we're down here at the bottom! Amazing! That's Tig. He made it. That's great! Yay! Leo! I found you! I told everyone the truth, that you're the real winner. I'm sorry. Aw, oh, Tig, forget about that. It's all good. Get us out of here already. Climb up now, but be careful. Leo! Tig! High five! <laughs> So, whose wreath is it? Leo's! No, this is Tig's wreath. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tig, first one to the old cedar is the winner. <laughs> Just a second. I'm gonna... <laughs> Train harder! <laughs>
Tag, you're it! Not fair! Cause you... you took a shortcut! Hi guys! I made a song, you know. You wanna hear it? <laughs> a song? <laughs> Can you even Me sing? Well, let's play tag instead! <laughs> Tig is it! No, I'm not! Not anymore! <laughs> Just you wait! <laughs> Winter tail. No, oh, Kane. Kids, today I will tell you a very old story I know about a bear and a magical song. Hear that, Mila? About a song right up your alley. <laughs> it happened a long time ago. There lived a bear who was very strong and kind taking care of the entire taiga and making sure everything was in order. But then winter came, bringing the blizzard with it. It howled and raged and covered the forest in a snowy blanket. All the animals hid in their burrows, and the bear grew sad and lonely. He wandered around the forest all by himself and bellowed in a terrible voice, disturbing everyone's sleep and scaring baby animals. Suddenly, a small bird flew over. It sat on a tree branch next to the bear and sang a song. It sang about winter ending and spring coming back about the sun warming up the earth again, about plants bursting into bloom, and animals leaving their burrows to play. The bear listened to the song until he fell asleep. And ever since that time, as soon as winter comes, the bear climbs into his lair and sleeps there until... <sighs> Papa Pandiga, Spring. is it true that the bear sleeps with his paw in his mouth? Oh, how am I supposed to know? There is no creature fearless enough to sniff around the bear's home. Tig, what do you think? Is it a front paw that the bears have in their mouth? Or a hind one? No, a front one. Hind paws are too far. But to know for sure, we gotta wait till Pandiga falls asleep. Why wait? We can take a peek at Beelzy and see everything. Leo! Are you sure about that? There's nothing to be afraid of. I'll just take a peek and get out. <gasps> Leo! Leo! <gasps> again if he listens to a lullaby. Can I be the one to sing? Be my guest. Go ahead and sing. Why don't you dance while you're at it? This is serious business here. When I was small, my mom used to tell me stories before bedtime. Bingo! A boring story. That's exactly what we need. It'll put him right to sleep. Leo, but how are we going to lure him in? Peace 
of cake. Snowball tree berries. <laughs> Everyone, Dick, do it. Cuba. Yara, don't be scared. Fire away. In the winter, when the weather is especially cold, the evil mistress of Taiga comes into the forest. Uh, the devious blizzard. Oh, oh, whoosh! I'm the devious blizzard. Oh, oh, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Oh. And the blizzard doesn't like forest inhabitants at all. The only ones who are safe from her are those hiding at home. Deep in sleep, and then one day, a baby bear sneaked out of his lair. He started wandering around the forest and looking for friends to play with. And the devious blizzard saw the baby bear and swooped down, howling, I'll freeze you, I'll get you. I'll freeze you, I'll get you. I'll freeze you, I'll get you. Right, I'll freeze you. I'll freeze you! I'll freeze you! I'll freeze you! Stop! I'll freeze you! The wizard you. was about to freeze the baby bear! I'll freeze you! I'll get you! I'll freeze you! And I'll only you. one little bird didn't I'll get scared. Get it sat on a tree branch close to the blizzard and started singing a song about the spring and the warm sun. The blizzard got scared of the spring and faded away. And at that moment, the blizzard disappeared! Peek, disappear! Huh? Right. Oh, no! Not the spring! Please! I'm so afraid of the spring! No! Not the spring! Oh, I'm afraid! No, I'm not afraid. the spring! He walked the baby bear back home and sang him a lullaby. Leo! I can't sing! I don't know how to! We do. I don't think he likes Jara's singing. I see that. But my singing's even worse. Yara, let me try. Wait, Mila. What are you doing? Who's gonna play the baby bear? The devious blizzard will howl and wail and dress all the trees in a delicate veil. The earth will put on a fluffy white hat. Sleep tight, baby bear. Rest your head. Have no fear. Have wonder. I don't think he's falling asleep. Like a mole in his burrow, like a fox in his hole. And afterwards, winter will bid you goodbye. And spring will arrive in the blink of an eye. Green trees and bright flowers and murmuring creeks. The air is so warm, but for now, you should sleep. Well done, Mila! That was so great! Thank you so much, Magic Birdie. How should I grab him? Gently. Careful not to wake him up. Boy, he's heavy. Here goes. Hey, thanks, Mila, for having my back. <laughs> Come on. It's nothing. So, is he... Yup. With his front paw in his mouth. Mila. Why didn't you tell us you were such a great singer? My turn. Oh, sleep tight, baby bear. Rest your head, have no fear. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm not that bad. <laughs> like, like mole, mole in, in his burrow, burrow like, like fox in, in his hole. And, and afterwards, winter will bid you goodbye. And spring will arrive in the blink of an eye. 
The air so warm, but for now you should sleep. And that's how a good song can make uh, can make a miracle. <laughs> Tig! Try to keep up! I am keeping up. I just... I wanted to breathe some fresh air. I've heard it's good for your health. In that case, can you breathe a bit faster? We're running late for Mappa. Hi there, Mila. Oh, hi, guys. Perfect timing. I had a nut roll under these roots. Can you help me get it out? Pretty please. Mila, have you seen the size of my paws? Look, they're huge. They won't fit in there. Mila, sorry, but Mappa is waiting for us. We'll definitely help you, but later. <laughs> the story of a hero. So today, children, I'm going to tell you the story <laughs> about the Nightingale's song. But Mappa Pandiga, Nightingales again? Can you tell us something heroic? That's right, like about battles and stuff. <laughs> heroic? <laughs> about battles and stuff. Okay, I've got something for you. It took place a long time ago. Back then, all animals in the forest lived peacefully together. No one hurt anyone. But then, something bad happened. From a faraway land, a great pack of wolves came to the taiga. The wolves were vicious and bloodthirsty and pestered the lives of the forest residents. The animals lost their peace. They got together for a council to decide who was going to defend their home forest. But no one dared to challenge the fierce wolves. Only one animal, the strongest, fastest, and bravest of all, stood up to the wolves. The battle continued throughout the night. It was tough on our hero, but he never backed down and chased the wolves out of the forest. Woohoo! He really showed them wolves. Huh. Oh, Mappa Pantiga. So who was that hero? A leopard, right? Why would you think it's a leopard? It was a tiger for sure. Some say it was a leopard. Some talk about a tiger. It was a long time ago. Well, children, go now, and I'm... I'm gonna have a nap. Tig! Let's play the hero game! Okay, Tig. I'll be the hero, and you'll be the wolf. Go ahead, try to howl! <clears throat> howl! No, that's not working. It doesn't sound like a wolf. Sounds like a chipmunk. You are the chipmunk. Chipmunk. <gasps> Tig, try to howl in here. Wow. Awesome, Tig. You're totally a wolf now. Leo, hold on. How come I have to be the wolf? I want to be the hero. Oh, no. The hero was a leopard. But Mappa said that... Mappa just didn't want to get you upset. Maybe he didn't want you to get upset. Everyone knows that the hero was a tiger. Because tigers are stronger than leopards. Stronger? Whatever. The leopard is agile. No, I disagree. I play the hero or not at all. Tig, let's make a deal. Whoever's the first to the top gets to be the hero. Okay, you got a deal. Hey, that's not fair! Well, don't be so slow then. <laughs> Try and catch up! Wanna give up? Lil, try to give up! 
Go first. <laughs> That's Mila. Something happened. Let's go. Ah. Here, take that. Ah. Shoot. Ah. How do you like that? Stop that right now. How about this? Ah. Ah. This is not going to help you anyway. That's fine. You are about to run out of those pine cones. Yeah, no more pine cones. <laughs> Leave me alone right now, or I'll. Oh, more food. Come over here, my delicious. <laughs> Who did you call food, huh? Leo, let's show them. <laughs> Grab him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's just throw them out of here. <laughs> we already have less spicy food. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Get away from me. Don't. <laughs> Boss, what was that? Wolves? Nonsense! What wolves are you talking about? Angry and hungry. <gasps> Boss, they're here! It's definitely wolves! All right, let's leave. It's better to stay out of their way. <laughs> you got lucky, weasel. Uh, oh, oh, oh. This time... Leo, you have to be very careful. Wolves are coming. It's okay, Mila. There are no wolves. It was all Tig and me. Ooh. Oh! Oh, you sounded just like real wolves. I even got.
got a little bit scared. <laughs> oh, and here's that nut. Thank you, guys. You know, you are my heroes. Tig, I've got an idea. Maybe the hero that chased away the wolves wasn't alone. Maybe there were two of them? Yeah, that's right. A tiger and a leopard. We can both be heroes. And Mila can be the wolf. Let's go play. <laughs> hey, why me? I don't want to be the wolf. Wait, guys, come on. That's not fair. Leo, Tig. The Eagle Rock. <laughs> All right, all right, Tig, you beat me. Come on, get off. You're really squishing my tail. Yay! Woohoo! Tig is the winner! Tig is the strongest! <laughs> Tig, king of the taiga! <laughs> Ooh! Oh. <laughs> Mappa Pandiga! Good morning, Mappa Pandiga! Good morning, children. Leo and I are just playing. <laughs> playing what? King of the taiga! Tig's the king. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The Amur Tiger once earned the right to be called the King of the Tiger. Just like the white-shouldered eagle is the King of the Sky. The King of the Sky? I've never really heard of him. Tell us the story, Mappa Pandiga. Pretty, pretty, please? <sighs> it was a long time ago. There was no order among the bird folk. The strong would wrong the weak and no one was there to stand up for them. Then, the birds got together and decided to choose themselves a king who would be kind, strong, and fair. The choice fell on the eagle. But the jealous vulture cried out, he needs to prove that he's the strongest. Let's have a competition. He who's the first to get to the top of a high mountain at sunrise will become the king. And so it was set. But at night, the vulture stole the eagle's wings, put them on, and flew to the summit. But when the sun came up, it scorched the sneaky vulture and made him turn black. And the eagle received a pair of new wings from the sun. Thus he became white-shouldered. And that's how they've been ever since. The white-shouldered eagle, the king of the sky, and the black vulture who was left to feed on nothing but carrion. Mappa Pandiga, so where did those old eagle wings go? I don't know. Probably still somewhere on the Eagle Mountain. All right, kids, that's enough for today. I've got things to do. <laughs> Tig, do you want to go for a walk? Walk where? Well, nowhere special, really. Just wander around a bit. I'm pretty good right here. Leo, what are you up to? Come on, King of the Taiga! <sighs> Just a little more! Yeah, so what? It's nothing special. Of all the places to wander, you want to come here? What's the big deal? No big deal. But there are no wings lying around in other places. What are you saying? Come on, Tig. We're climbing the Eagle Mountain! Are you insane? It's the highest, most dangerous mountain, period. Leo, Tig! Oh boy, they're about to fall. Uh, I must call everyone for help. Uh, 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 Grandpa, I'm gonna do a run up and soar into the air. Oh, it's such a pity that you won't be able to see it. A run? Uh, 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 jump! <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> that one doesn't count. This time I'm definitely gonna fly. <laughs> of course you're gonna fly. You're an eagle. It's just that, well, you're not ready yet. But I feel like I'm ready. A run, a jump. Oh. 
Elder Eagle, we've just seen a leopard and a tiger on the mountain, climbing to the top. Wow, awesome! I wonder what they're doing here. We'll find out soon enough. Leo, why do we even need wings? They're not that great. Think about it! Once you get yourself some wings, you can become not just the king of the taiga, but of the sky, too. Why should I care about the sky? I'm perfectly fine with the taiga. Take, push it closer to the rock! Leo, you're kicking up too many rocks! It's not me! It's a storm ball! Yeah, otherwise we'd be crushed by those stones. Tell me this. What business has brought Wingless to our mountain? We... we just wanted to find ourselves some wings, so that Tig could become a real king of the sky. <laughs> king of the sky? Having wings is not enough for that. Uh, I've got wings right here. When do I become the king? It's the vultures! How dare they show up at our beautiful mountains! Don't worry, sir. We'll take care of them. <laughs> you better leave this place now and hurry. Well, old man. Long time no see, as they say. <gasps> Grandpa, that's the black vulture! Ah. It's you! I've thrown you out of these mountains more than once before! <laughs> yes, but this time your guardians are far away. And you've become a feeble, lame, and blind old geezer! <laughs> Grandpa! Grandpa! Let the young one go! No, I will not! Say goodbye to your little hatchling! No, Grandpa! Stay here! I'll be right back. Me. Lily, go. wait! Hey, you! Let him go ah. right now! And who's this little nuisance? Grab him! <laughs> no, Lil! No, 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 no! Goodbye, Grandpa. old man! Grandpa Eagle, we need to save them! My wings are still very strong and powerful, but I'm blind. I know. I can be your eyes and I'll guide you. You, who were born without wings, are not scared of flying? Oh, I'm really scared, but we can't abandon them. Let's go! To the left. To the right. A bit more. Aha! We've almost caught up with them. He slipped into a ravine. Ah, uh, the passage is too narrow. I spent my entire life among these incredible mountains. I know every blessed rock here. Initiate the countdown! Three, two, one, and go! Whoa, yeah! That was awesome! We've caught up with them! You wretched old man! I underestimated you! But you won't get them The there. vultures dropped them! They're falling! We have to catch them! Go down! Quick! <laughs> <laughs> I can fly! I can fly, Grandpa! I'll be our eyes now! Follow me! I'm here! <laughs> enough flying for me. Can we land? So you are saying that they were climbing on the Eagle Mountain 
Oh, I really shouldn't have told Leo and Tig that eagle legend. Oh, dear. Look! There! What's that way up above? That's Leo! <gasps> and Tig! They're flying! Grandpa! This way! <laughs> Land now! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Oh, no. I should thank you, brave-hearted tiger. You are a king indeed. A king? Who? Tig? Come visit us when you can. We'll always be glad to see you. For sure. We'll fly you around. Grandpa, follow me. Let's go home. Goodbye. Goodbye. Flying? Well, uh, thanks, but <laughs> that's okay. I think I'll Well, pass. then, King, you want to play tag? You're it! Forget about it, Mila. I'm no king. Ha! Whoa, Leo's whoa, it! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's not those who are strong and cunning who inspire tales, but those who are brave and kind. I'm already fed up with this snow. Tig, it suits you. Spring is over, and it's still freezing. Uh-huh. I really miss all that sunshine, too. <laughs> and I miss the flowers. Come out, sunshine. Where did you go? <laughs> I'm sure it will come out just for you. There once was someone in the taiga who the sun listened to. <gasps> really? Tell us more, Mappa. Come along with me, kids. The Sun Folk. Look at that! Awesome! Mappa, who are they? This is the Sun Folk. What kind of folk? Sun Folk. These animals lived in the taiga a long time ago. It is said that they descended from the sun itself. In cold times, when the sun used to stop giving warmth to the earth, they used to send the Chosen One the strongest and fastest one in their tribe, to talk to the forefather and ask him to turn up the heat. And the son listened to him. But, Mapa Pandiga, how did they talk to the sun? It's so high up. There is a valley of geysers behind the quick river and the big swamp. And in the valley lies the magical sunstone. They used it to communicate. Mappa, where are these sun folks right now? Nobody knows. Some say they left these parts a long time ago. But others believe that the sun folk is still among us. They just forgot about where they came from. There, look. To me, this chosen one looks like Leo, don't you think? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> he does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kids. Let's get going. It's getting chilly. Wee. <laughs> Leo, Leo, stop sitting around. Come play tag with us. Tig, I still can't get the Sun Folk story out of my head. <laughs> Try to think on the run. It will warm you up a lot. Just listen for a sec. What if I, I mean, leopards are the Sun Folk? And I'm the Chosen One. You, the Chosen One? Why not? You said yourself that the one from the picture looks a lot like me. Well, he does. It means I have to go to the Valley of the Geysers and look for the Sunstone. Leo, it's very dangerous to go to the Valley. <laughs> Guys, come on, try to understand. If I am the Chosen One, I have to talk to the Sun. Otherwise, summer will never come. 
Whether you're the chosen one or not, this much, I know. We're not going to let you go alone. Yeah, Tig is right. We'll go with you. <laughs> no way. I'm not going to go in that water. Let me think. I'll come up with something. A raft? Wow, Cuba. You're a genius. Leo, what are you doing? Hop on the raft. You forget, Tig. I'm the chosen one. I have to find the sunstone by myself. I got this, guys. <laughs> we finally made it to the big swamp. I'm sure that this whole swamp is already frozen or something. Whoa! Maybe not. Leo, where are you going? I'm jumping over it. Leo, that's crazy. Come with us. It is safer together. Don't be afraid, guys. I'm the chosen one. I totally got this. Whew. If this so-called sunstone does not exist, you're giving me a piggy ride back. Uh. 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 Leo, uh. you might want to be careful. Uh. It's okay. I can do this. I am the chosen one. It's okay when you use teamwork and avoid taking unnecessary risks. Uh. Huh? Oh, Leo, are you coming? Yeah. You guys taking a nap? Let's go. Huh? Oh. Okay. Now Leo will crawl up to his hunk of rock, say hello to the sun, and then we can go home. Hey, guys, what about the geysers? What about the geyser schmeisers? They won't stop us. <laughs> Mama didn't say that they were hot. The sunstone! Found it! Leo, wait for us! Ow! They're singeing my fur off! Leo, watch out! Jara, I'm the chosen one. I'll come up with something. Leo, you tried hard, but you see, there's no way to get through. Let's forget about the stone. Let's go home, okay? <sighs> Guys, you go. I'll catch up later. Chosen one. I got this. I can do this. I'm sorry, Leo, but it seems even the chosen one can't do it by himself. But together, we got this. Come on, push! <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
your stone. Go do it. Leo, do it quickly. Ask the sun for some warmth. No, we should do it together. One, two, three. Hello. Excuse, Excuse me, sun. sun. More heat, pretty please. Be a pal, would you? Together, we just asked it nicely, and the sunshine came out. By the time we came back, everything already bloomed. Nicely done. It has indeed become much warmer. It was Leo's idea. <laughs> he suggested we go to the Sunstone. Thank you, friends. Without your help, I just couldn't have done it myself. Ah, kids. As they say, the one without friends is like a tree without roots. And always remember this. Two heads are better than one. Goodbye, Theodore. So have you come up with an interesting question? I spent all night thinking, but I still have nothing. I've got a question, but I forgot it. Hi, Theodore. Do you also want to listen to Mappa? No, oh, no, my friends. I just wanted to say goodbye. To say goodbye? Ah, it's September already. Today at sunset, our flock is flying off to the warmer lands. Over there at the Blue Hills is where we meet. Whoa. It's so far. You call this far? The warmer lands, that's really far away. Several days of a strenuous flight through heat and cold. Through winds and storms. All right, children. What questions have you prepared for me? Today, as promised, I will answer the most interesting one. Who's up? So what? No questions. I've got one! Mappa Pandiga, why do storks fly to the warmer lands for the winter? Good one, Leo! <laughs> wonderful. That is an interesting question indeed. A long time ago, back at the dawn of time, the weather was always hot on Earth. But then, the climate began to change, and animals started to dress in furs and feathers. Those who chose feathers learned how to fly and became birds. Later, it turned out that the feathers are not good for keeping you warm in winter. But the birds didn't want to give up their plumage. They wouldn't trade this new and magical feeling of flying for any fur coat, no matter how warm or beautiful. That's why, ever since that time, every year, many birds have to fly far, far away to the warmer lands where they can stay till the harsh winter is over. I'm so glad I've got my fur coat. There's no way I'd be flying to the warmer lands. Oh, so pretty. Where did it come from? That is Theodore's feather. But without it, how can he fly to the warmer lands? We need to return it. Give his feather back. Can we make it? We don't have any other choice. In that case, let's go, guys.
think of something. No, Leo. Just no. Why not? Jump now, Tig. Don't be scared. I'm gonna jump first. Okay. As a gentleman, I'll let you go first. Huh? No! <clears throat> oh, wow! Why did I never jump like that before? <laughs> wow! But this is... so high. Leo, I can't do this. I'll just wait here. All right, Tig, stay there if you want. But could you catch the vine first? <clears throat> uh -oh. just got caught on a thorn, so he couldn't jump off. That's right. Caught on a thorn. Theodore, you're friends with a tiger, a leopard, and a lynx. I don't believe you. Where could he go? Leo! Yara! I have really bad luck today. First, I got caught in a thorn, and now I fell into this deep pit. I'm so sick of vines. Joy! 
sharks! Are they already gone? Oh, we didn't make it. Quick! Here! <laughs> you don't have to believe it. But I do have wonderful friends. We made it! <laughs> we found your feather. You lost it, right? Yeah, this is my feather. But why? I think you can't fly without it. Oh, no, Tig. One feather wouldn't affect the way I fly in the slightest. So we came for nothing? No, not at all. I'm so happy, my friends, that you came to say goodbye before I leave. And this feather is for you to remember me. Goodbye! And good luck, Theodore! <laughs> <laughs> when the wind above the sea waves, when the wind above the sea waves, when the wind above the sea waves starts to storm and rain, we will scare it up with shouts. We will scare it up with shouts and continue on our flight. Lost inspiration. Ready? Yeah, I was born ready. Go for it. Okay, guys, watch and learn. Huh. Well, want to give it another try? Nah, I'm so bored. How about we play some tag instead? No, thank you. We play tag every day. Ugh. Well, then, maybe go to the river? Why, I don't mind. There are such beautiful water lilies there. The river again? Like we haven't done that a billion times already. Ah, <sighs> boring. Stork Theodore has lost his inspiration! Stork Theodore has lost his inspiration! Breaking news! Breaking news! Stork Did you Theodore hear? Has lost his inspiration. Theodore has lost his, uh, inspiration. <sighs> yeah, so? What do you mean? You said it yourself, boring. Here's our chance for some adventure. We'll help Theodore find this thing, Inspur. Oh, yeah? You're right. Come on, let's go. Leo! By the way, what is inspiration? Well, ta ta ta, ta 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 ta. <laughs> ta ta ta, ta 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 ta. The sun peaked from the clouds. Like a star among the crowds. Oh no, that's no good. Hello, Theodore. We heard that you lost your uh, the thing that what's it called, huh? Ta 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 ta. How about we help you find it again? Could you tell us what it looks like? This thing we're looking for. The inspiration. Oh, it's so luminous. It's so, so magnificent. It, it's like uh, uh. Like a flower. Like. Uh, 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 choo! Uh, inspiration livens up everything. Even the most commonplace trees, you can see how they breathe. Oh! Wow! Oh, wow! I think I found it! Found what? That thing, you know. Ta ta ta! Ta ta ta! Let me have a look. Hmm. Hmm. Well, indeed, this magical stone is very similar to inspiration. <sighs> this is the one you call inspiration. This stone is truly magical. A magical stone! Leo has found a magical stone! A magical What is this magical stone. stone? It is so shiny, so beautiful. Hmm, beautiful and shiny? I like the sound of that. The magical stone must be mine. Hmm. 
Ta 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 ta. Oh, very good. <laughs> That's our Theodore. Be quiet. Theodore has to know something. <clears throat> and now I will sing for you my new song. Uh, it's to be honest, it's not exactly ready yet, but still. <laughs> <laughs> and now... Help! 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 You hear that? Help! Someone's calling for help! Let's get moving! Go! Go! Help me! I'm drowning! I'm drowning! <laughs> <laughs> Here it is! The magical stone! <laughs> Spotty and Stripe are coming back here! Let's run! Hmm, that's strange. No one was there. Who oh, <gasps> cried for help? Hold on. Where's the stone? It was right there. <gasps> Martins! They've stolen our stone! <gasps> Such cunning trickery. I just can't believe it. In a world where this is possible, there's no place for inspiration. I'm sorry. I have to be alone. I guess he must be very upset. Tell me about it. Once again, he lost his... Ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta. The magic stone was stolen. You know what? We're gonna get the stone back. <laughs> Good idea. Then inspiration will come back to Theodore. Let's go! Right. Finders, weepers, loses, keepers. Oops, no wait. Finders, keepers, loses, weepers. What? Isn't that right? Sounds about right. <laughs> and you only have yourself to blame. <laughs> Give us a stone. Not gonna happen. Let's roll. Go Give us, us a stone. <laughs> Stop, please. <laughs> I think we lost them. Haha, -ha, you're busted! Give me the stone! No, it's mine now! Marcus, let's go! <laughs> Give back our stone! Not a chance! <laughs> Breaking news! Breaking news! Magpie has rescued the magical stone! Breaking news! Breaking news! Magpie no, has rescued no, the magical the stone! No, no, the stone is ours! Stone. Hey, wait! Come back here! We can't catch Magpie for sure. But well, what are we going to say to Theodore? Well, you see, all in all, the stone was almost in our hands. But then we lost it. You mean that is to say you did all of this for me? Yes. Yes, because we wanted to give you back your, your da-da-da-da-da. Inspiration. We tried our very, very best. We really did. Will you forgive us, Theodore? Forgive you? But for what? This is the most inspirational thing I've ever heard. Nobody's done ever anything like this for me. You are my inspiration. And the stone? <laughs> it's just a stone. Really? Sure. You know what? I think my song just might be ready now. Here, listen to it. As the clouds depart the sky, inspiration makes us fly. As the clouds depart the sky, on your friends you can rely. <laughs> Let the sun shine upon friendship. <laughs> to the sun will wave hello. We're all friends, don't you know? Whatever happens, rain or shine, when together we'll be fine. We're Quite the ride. Let's 
take an adventure, we'll make it a joint venture. Have a look at all this magic. Oh, 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 oh. With such friends, nothing is tragic. Round and round, sun bunnies dancing. Happy days they are enhancing. Friends, nothing is tragic. Round and round, somebody's dancing. Happy days, they are enhancing. Keep looking. The stone has to be there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Happy days they are enhancing. 